Welcome back to another episode. This is episode number three of the unboxing series. Today we're going to go ahead and unbox the eGPU setup. And what exactly is the eGPU before we actually get started? The eGPU is basically an adapter that allows you to connect a desktop graphics card to run and, you know, play your games with. Now, this could be useful for people like me who do video editing and on the go I need something to power my processor with GPU acceleration. You know, you could get like almost double the render times, if not like triple. But anyways, with all that further ado, we're gonna go to get right into the unboxing. If you guys are probably wondering, yes, I did move my table so that I could get this sort of shot right here, but let's go ahead and open up the box and see what is inside. Here is our graphics adapter, you guys can see here, and it probably has a warning side that says, please follow our guide instructions. We all know that this is bullshit. We don't really need the instructions guide. We always get the internet and we probably already understand everything about the adapter itself because I did a lot of research, so we don't need that. The box itself actually looks pretty neat. I might actually use it for something in the future. And we get ourselves the Wi-Fi connection. Well, it's not exactly why it's a mobile PCIe connection, which hooks up through via HDMI to your adapter. This is going to be useful for, say, I want to put my processor in there if I'm traveling on the go and I'm worried that I'm going to fry it with my computer because you know me, I love overclocking stuff with my computer and here is the adapter itself which hooks up it has a you know a pcie slot a full desktop pcie slot which is allows me to connect my graphics card to it oh and uh, here's a really cool part if you wanted to hook up your wi-fi card i'm not sure it's not in here with it through pcie you could do that or you could maybe even do pcie uh capture card instead of usb which is going to be better and you could record your footage if you have a dedicated GPU inside your laptop. Anyways, I cut out a hole so that in the future I could hook up my mobile PCIe to my laptop. And, you know, if you guys want to see a review about the Asus X518, I'm definitely going to make one in the future because, you know, it's just sitting here. Why not make a review about that? Is this adapter even worth it? I bought it for about $40 on eBay. It took a while for it to arrive. You know, expect that for a $40 item. But what it does, it is allows me to connect my graphics card and play games on the go when I'm, you know, using my laptop and it just makes a desktop class performance for only $40. So all you do is buy yourself, like say the whole setup is going to cost you $300 with the GTX 960. It's not really all that expensive and it allows you to video edit much faster. It allows you to play games that you couldn't play before on the Intel HD or even if you have an AMD Radeon R5 integrated graphics. So yeah, it definitely improves your performance overall when it comes to doing real world tasks on your computer. Definitely worth it. Like I'd honestly say just go for it if you have the money, but you guys stay tuned for future videos because I'm going to be uploading a video explaining how to hook this up and maybe see if there's any problems with this adapter specifically to, you know, sort of guide you and let you know which adapter you should get. So stay tuned for that in the future. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, hit that like button. If you didn't like it, go ahead and smack that dislike. If you want to see more future videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe, you know, to stay up to date. And I'll catch everybody in the next episode.